Transformations. This is a digital lesson, and this is the football version. So it's just uh, themed for football, and it covers the transformations of reflection, translation, dilation, and rotation around the origin. So it starts out with a definition of what transformation means and what it means in mathematics. And then it gives a definition of these four transformations they're going to see in this lesson. So they can refer back to slide three if they need a review of what each of these means. And they're going to start on slide four. So this is a lot of fun for the students. They use the fill color feature of Google Slides. And they're going to create first a reflection across the y-axis. So to do that, they want to click and hold in the square they want to color in. And they're just going to scroll across to cover a rectangle shape. Come up here to the fill color feature and they're going to choose any color they like. And they're just going to create a reflection, which means a mirror image across that Y axis. The next one is a T shape. Now we're going to first reflect it across the Y axis. So again, click and hold in the square they want to color. Scroll across. And here they have a reflection again across the Y axis. The next one is the same shape, but this time they're going to reflect across the X axis. So I want to make sure it's a mirror image. It will look like this. So let students play around with this and choose any color they like. <clears throat> the next one is a reflection across a line that's not one of the axes. So we're going to reflect across the line x equals 1. So it's got to be equal distance from that line and a mirror image. So again, click and hold. And they can only color in a, a, a rectangle shape at a time. And this is their reflection across a line. OK, the next one then, they're going to reflect across another line. This line is y equals negative 1, so it's this green line. And they're going to show a mirror image on the other side of that line. Now they're showing what to do when part of their figure is already across the line that they're reflecting across. So I have these points here. It shows that it works kind of like a hinge. So this you would flip straight up, and it would look like this. So you still have part of that figure below the line when you flip it. So they're going to do the same thing on the next slide. And look at those points. It shows a mirror image. And it's going to look something like this. Now we move on to translation. Translation is just moving a figure up, down, left, or right without changing its orientation. So this one is pretty easy. They're just going to reflect, or they're going to translate six units to the right. So they just count one, two, three, four, five, six. And they've moved that six units to the right. The next one, they're going to translate four units to the left and two units down. So they have to count their squares and make sure they're in the right place. Another one, and here another one to do for translation. They're going to move on to rotation. Now I've given students the formula to use to change each of these points. So this one, then we're going to rotate it counterclockwise 90 degrees, which means that will put it in quadrant 3. So we're going to use the formula negative yx. They've got these movable points and movable lines to finish their figure. So they look at the points on, these, on this triangle. So this one is negative 1, 2 for this point. If we use this formula, it's now negative 2, negative 1. So we're going to use a point to show that negative 2, negative 1. This point, negative 1, 4, if I use this formula, it's negative 4, negative 1. And then finally, negative 3, 2, 
is now going to be negative 2, negative 3. And now they can use these lines to go ahead and fill in their figure. If your students are a little advanced and you want a little bit more of a challenge for them, you could just straighten up these lines, make them all the same orientation, going straight up and down, and that way they have to actually move the lines into place. That would give them just a little bit more of a challenge. So there is the rotation counterclockwise 90 degrees. The next one is going to be a rotation clockwise 90 degrees, which would put it again in quadrant three. Take each of these points and use this formula to show clockwise movement. The next one, they're going to rotate 180 degrees, which would put it in the opposite quadrant, which would be quadrant four. And the final rotation around the origin, there's going to be three different rotations. So you're going to have this figure shown in each of the three quadrants. And here it gives the formula for each of those. And again, the, uh, the teacher slides are included, so um, you have the key for each one of these. Now we move on to dilation. Dilation is changing a figure or by keeping its shape, but just changing its size. And we have a scale factor. So if we dilate this with a scale factor of two, that's mean, that means it's going to be twice as big. So we're going to take each of these points and we're going to multiply the coordinates by two. So instead of one, one, we now have two, two. And again, you just click and hold on these points and you can move them into place. And then negative two, two negative 2, negative 2, and 2, negative 2. And then you're just going to use the lines to complete that dilation. The next one is a triangle, and we're going to dilate it by a scale factor of 3. So we're going to take each one of these points, take the coordinates, and multiply by 3. And then they have a dilation where the scale factor is a fraction less than one, which means it's now going to be smaller. So we're going to multiply each of the coordinates by one half or divide by two. And then finally, they have two transformations on this for the same figure. Here, they're going to translate this figure five units to the left, and then they're going to reflect it over the x-axis. So two different transformations. When they get to the final slide, they're just going to be dragging and dropping these vocabulary terms into the correct place in the sentence frame. So they just click and hold on each one of these and then move it into the correct place. So that is the digital lesson, Transformations, the football version.